Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at moving from Aperture to Lightroom and we're going to continue our series. And more specifically this week we're going to take a look at a comparison between Aperture and Lightroom. So that if you are coming over from Aperture to Lightroom, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour on how they function differently but where the things you have in Aperture are actually found inside of Lightroom. Uh, if you're looking for tutorials on how to convert uh, your Aperture library uh, to Lightroom and all of that, I've got a couple of other ones at the beginning of the series that you'll want to check out first. So here we are in the Finder. Now one of the fundamental differences between Aperture and Lightroom is how they handle the file structure. Uh, in Aperture I can have one library like this that is a package uh, library where all of my uh, pictures sit inside this library. You see I don't see a folder structure or anything like that and that's because Aperture manages them. Now Aperture does also give you the ability to reference those files so it would take folders like this and leave them alone and just reference them. Uh, but it also does have this extra feature of managing everything inside one file. Now for Lightroom it just leaves everything exactly how you set it up, how, whatever folder structures you put together. And then inside Lightroom you would manage these different files and folders and move things around. So what you want to do is with uh, Lightroom you want to make sure that wherever you create your folder structure you leave that alone and then use Lightroom to, to start to move folders and things where you want to so Lightroom knows where they're at. Uh, it does have a feature to find the folders if you happen to move them manually uh, but it's just a lot easier to move them inside of Lightroom to make that work. Okay, now that we've taken a look at how Aperture and Lightroom handle the file structures, uh, let's just do a comparison side by side so that we can do a bit of a translation between what you're used to in Aperture to what you can expect in Lightroom. So how they handle the uh, interior structure is, uh, is similar, but there's a few differences. Uh, you'll notice that in Aperture across the top, we've got three tabs. We've got Library, Info, which is uh, basically all of your metadata, and then Adjustments, where you actually make adjustments to the photos themselves. If I come back over here, if you look at Lightroom, you'll notice that Lightroom has library up here, just like we have there. Uh, the info area for metadata is handled over here on the side, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then your adjustments are handled by the develop module. Now, while we're inside the library, let me just talk about the differences here, uh, because there is some translation. Uh, in Aperture, you have projects, and your projects are where you would work on your different uh, pictures. This is where you would segment them down by, you know, if you had the different projects for different uh, shoots that you did, uh, you would put them in these little files right here, and this is where you would organize them. Uh, in Lightroom, uh, folders are the equivalent of projects in Aperture. So you have your folders over here. So if I just uh, tick this little uh, arrow here, you can see there's my folder that I had set up in the Finder that I just showed you, and then there's the other folder inside, and then and we go down and now we've got uh, this folder and so you can drill down and get all of that information just like my folder structure is set up in the finder. So that's the difference there. So there's a different icon for them right here um, but uh, basically that's how that functions. Now albums in uh, Aperture, right? so you got an album right here uh, inside of Lightroom is the equivalent of collections. So these are collections right here. You can see they even have a similar icon. Uh, this is a collection inside of Lightroom. Now, your smart albums that you can create in Aperture uh, are called smart collections inside of uh, Lightroom. So you can see there, there's the smart collection. And then folders uh, inside of Aperture, right? We use folders to bunch together a bunch of different collections, a bunch of different projects. In Lightroom, uh, folders are actually collection sets. And you see a collection set right here. If I just uh, click this, you can see now I've got a collection of different albums. And you'll notice now the project icon in Aperture is the collection sets icon in Lightroom. So really, uh, most of the icons match up with the exception of those, but that is a difference so that you can understand uh, what you're dealing with when you come over to, into Lightroom. Now, in terms of the info panel, right here I've got all of the info on my pictures as I look at them. Uh, inside of Lightroom on this side, uh, it's broken down a little differently. You can see I've got keywords here and I can select the type of metadata that I want to view. Uh, you know, I can do the e e uh, EXIF info, all of that right here. Uh, over in Lightroom, keywording is a separate area right here. So here's where all the keywords are. And they give some suggestions and you can create sets and all of that for your keywords. And then the rest of your metadata is right here, and here's where you would choose how you want to view your metadata. And then just the drop down here shows you the different metadata information that you've got in there, and you can edit it for the actual photo, just like you can with the information that's over here. So as you can see, uh, similar the way it's laid out, but uh, it's just in a, in a little bit of a different uh, place. Uh, 
Now I can view my uh, uh, different pictures inside here. I can view them in a grid view. I can do the same thing over here in Aperture. If I just click this, there's my grid view, where I can go back to the film strip view. Uh, the same is true here. If I just click this, I always have this film strip that I've got down here if I want that. If I want to get rid of this film strip, I can just click this arrow right here and it makes it disappear. So these little arrows on the side actually allow different segments to disappear. Uh, that couldn't be hidden in this case because I've got this shrunk down so far. Uh, but you get the idea. You can kind of hide panels in uh, Lightroom just by clicking on the side. Uh, so that interface is there. Now, one difference is in Aperture you have the loop tool, which is kind of neat because it allows you to zoom in on a section of your photo uh, to get a closer look at it. Uh, the equivalent uh, over here, let me just click this off, the equivalent in Lightroom is not quite the same, but it's up here in the navigator. Uh, I can choose how close I want to zoom in. I can say one to one, and that zooms me all the way in. And then, like the loop tool, I just have to use this to move around my fo uh, photo to take a look at it. Uh, so that is a, an advantage in Aperture. Uh, I did like the loop tool, but uh, you can still do that inside of Lightroom just by coming up here to the navigator. Now, in terms of adjustments, uh, let me just uh, click this on here. You'd go into the develop module inside of Lightroom. And they're very similar in how they function. Uh, the translation is almost exactly, uh, exactly the same. Um, and so what I did is I put a bunch of the ones over here that are out inside Lightroom. Now, understand on Lightroom, they've laid these out in the way that they figure you'll probably edit them. Uh, so this is kind of how they've laid these out on this side. You've got some tools across the top, uh, like this is an adjustment brush uh, here. You've got, uh, you know, you've got red eye uh, correction here. You've got spot removal here. You've got your cropping tool. Uh, that information is across the top. Uh, in Aperture, the equivalent of that kind of stuff would be in uh, in your effects and in your um, brushes. You know, when you're looking at your different brush, quick brushes and things like that, that would be inside of there. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Now let's look here at the basic, uh, basically the basic changes here that you would make to a photo or adjustments. Uh, here we've got the white balance uh, that's on there. You, it's the same as the white balance that you've got uh, in Aperture, very similar, uh, you can see there. Uh, and here you would just change to whether you're going to do temperature and tint. Uh, so you could add that in there and you can see now it matches pretty closely uh, with the eyedropper and everything. So that's there. Uh, when you look at exposure, you've got your exposure uh, stuff over here. You've got exposure right here in light, Lightroom. Uh, contrast is the same as uh, contrast over here in um, uh, inside of uh, Aperture. And so you, you would have your contrast uh, information in there as well, right there. Uh, you've also got your highlights and your shadows. And so you've got highlights and shadows down here. So there's, those are the equivalent of highlights and shadows in this area right here. Uh, you've also got your um, your whites and your blacks. And so your whites and your blacks are the equivalent of the black point over here in Aperture, if you use that. And uh, and then your whites are, are basically a part of, let me just close this down, it's a part of the levels uh, area that you've got in here, where you can move your blacks over here and your whites on this side. Uh, that's the equivalent of what you would do kind of with whites and blacks here. Up here shows you where your whites are, this shows you where your blacks are, and then you can get an idea just by uh, clicking, you know, clicking in here. Um, you can get an idea of moving these around, and you notice that as I move over these, you see up in the up in the diagram at the top, it shows what area of the histogram that's that's affecting when I move over it. You can kind of see a little shading. Hopefully, that comes out in the video. So that's where those would kind of be the equivalent. Let me just uh, close this over here so we can see that a little bit easier. Uh, you've got your uh, clarity slider here, which is like the definition slider over an aperture. You've got saturation and vibrancy uh, sitting right here. So you can see very similar. Uh, it covers kind of all of that information that's in there and in here. The only difference is there's not a brightness uh, per se uh, that's built into that. Um, but the brightness kind of comes out through the exposure. Uh, that's how that works. So let me close that up. And so that's the basic uh, editing information there, and you can go black and white as well if you wanted to. Um, you've got your tone curve uh, information in here, and this is just like uh, the curves inside of Aperture. So you can see the similarity between uh, those right there. And so that's uh, where, it, where it is in Lightroom. Uh, you've also got in here, you've got your hue, saturation, and luminance by color. And so you can do the exact same thing here in um, you can do a little bit of it in levels, but also in color right here. Uh, you can do the hue, saturation, and luminance right here in one panel. Here you would just take care of it with tabs across the top. And uh, so anyway, so you got split toning uh, in here. Again, that's just the hue and, and, and saturation inside those shadows. You've got detail where you can do sharpening and noise reduction. 
And in Aperture, you do have uh, the noise reduction uh, information right here uh, on there. And uh, you also have a sharpen uh, adjustment right here. So as you can see, you're not really losing much. And what I found a lot is in uh, just trying out Lightroom, the adjustments uh, seem to be just a, just a little bit better to me uh, when I'm doing them to my eye. Uh, you've got lens correction, which has chromatic uh, aberration. You've got uh, removing chromatic aberration up here in uh, Aperture. And uh, it adds a couple other things, too. You can actually set profiles for your cameras. It knows what lenses you have and then adjust your photo based on the lens to remove any lens distortion, uh, which is a nice uh, add. It's a really nice feature there in Lightroom. Uh, in terms of effects, these are just different effects that you can do with vignetting and things like that. Uh, again, those are things that you would do in some of the uh, add adjustments and also in the effects area here inside of Aperture. So let me just put that down. And then you've got camera calibration uh, inside of Lightroom that you don't necessarily have an Aperture where you can calibrate it for a particular uh, camera uh, so you can get a camera profile built in. Now, a couple other things that you've got. You've got a crop tool right here. The crop tool is over here inside of Aperture. You've got your spot removal and your retouch uh, stuff. That is also over here where you got spot and patch uh, here inside of Aperture. So again, if I hit that, you can see I've got the little uh, brush there. Uh, the same here when I hit spot removal. Uh, I can do the size of the brush, and I've got the brush over here that I can use as well. Uh, the other thing that's nice inside of Lightroom, though, is you can visualize spots. If I just click on this, it shows me where spots are, so I can remove them uh, a lot easier. Uh, just in case I've got water spots or things on my lens, uh, it speeds that uh, process up. Uh, red eye removal, which you also have over here. Red eye removal is right there. Uh, there is a, um, you know, there's a way here to add graduated filters so that it would darken the sky or the bottom. And I can also do kind of a, a circular vignette. Uh, type deal where I can determine how far the vignette goes inside of Lightroom. And then you have your brushes right here, and then you can paint on different changes that you want to paint on uh, just by using the brush here. It kind of adds a mask. Uh, similar again to the uh, brushes that you can use over here inside of Aperture, and it kind of gives you an idea of how that works. Let me just put this down. So that kind of gives you a tour uh, a little bit of the develop area so you can see how that works. Again, you've got a mapping function here just like you do inside of Aperture. Uh, and then you can set up books and things uh, and slideshow inside of Lightroom, very similar, again, to what you can do in Aperture. So hopefully that gives you an idea of, uh, you know, kind of where things are at inside Lightroom, where you used to find them inside of Aperture. I know it's a really quick tour, uh, but hopefully that, that makes the adjustment a little easier in case you do decide to use uh, uh, Lightroom in, in place of Aperture. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.